everyone, my name is Christina and I work as Food Technologies Kachaka's Food Research Center. I will talk to you today about the science behind bread making. I will explain what each of the ingredients do and why they are also important in the bread making process. So let's go to my home lab, which today will be my kitchen. As we are in the kitchen now, we can start our experiment. So the very first step is to organize all our ingredients. The following ingredients are required for bread making. Flour, water, yeast, sugar, salt and oil. All these ingredients are needed to make bread tasty, delicious and to make it even more appealing, I will use today some food colorants. I know there are a lot of recipes available for bread making. The one that I will show you today is really simple and you can easily do it from home. I will start by dissolving dehydrated yeast in water. What I want to mention at this step is the importance of water temperature. So the water has to be approximately 40 degrees. If the water is too cold, then we won't be able to activate the yeast. On the other hand, if the water is too hot, then we will kill the yeast and we will obtain a flat bread something that we don't want, right? This is a really important ingredient. It consumes the carbs from the dough. Uh, this process is called fermentation and we will obtain carbon dioxide and ethanol. Carbon dioxide will be trapped in the dough mix, causing the dough to rise. Okay, so I had to bring the camera a little bit closer so you will have a better view of the working area for the following steps. I will talk now about the next ingredient, which is sugar, and I will add it to the mix of water and yeast. So, sugar has few purposes. It gives bread a lovely sweet taste and it acts as fuel for the yeast to help in the bread rising process. When heated, the sugar undergoes to what is called Maillard reaction. This is what gives the crust its golden brown color. The Maillard process is a chemical reaction between an amino acid and a reduced zinc sugar, usually requiring the addition of heat and its form of non-enzymatic browning. Okay, in this mix I will add two spoons of flour and I will leave it to rest for approximately 10 minutes. At this step, I will talk about the importance of water and flour. So flour provides structure to the bread. Water activates the proteins in the flour to form gluten. You can consider gluten as a miraculous net that holds bread together, and it helps the dough to rise by trapping the carbon dioxide bubbles during fermentation, giving bread its unique texture. So I will mix all these ingredients. So going further to the next ingredient, which is salt. Salt improves the flavor, but it also helps on tightening the gluten structure and adding strength to your dough. So the next step in the bread making process is the kneading. The purpose of kneading is to distribute evenly the gas that is produced by the yeast. I already mentioned earlier that the gas is carbon dioxide. Another purpose is to increase the elasticity of the gluten and also to blend the ingredients. So before you start this step, make sure you have extra flour beside you and extra water. So for example, if the dough is too sticky, then you'll have to add extra flour. Okay, while the dough is rising, we have plenty of time that we can use to discuss about colors. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to make this bread experiment more interesting, I was thinking to also discuss about mixing the colors and see which colors we'll have to mix to obtain the green and orange from the Irish flag. My objective is to make an Irish flag bread. There are three primary colors. Uh, blue, yellow and red and you will understand in a second why I will have to use yellow two times. Um, they are called primary uh, colors because they cannot be made by mixing any other colors. Orange and green are secondary colors because they are made by combining primary colors. In order to obtain green, I will mix blue and yellow. 
So let's see how it works. So we're adding the I think I'm happy enough with this green and in order to obtain orange we will mix red and yellow and now you understand why I needed to use yellow two times. Another thing that we can do while the dough is rising is to use the oil to grease the bread pan. This is to avoid any stickiness of the bread after cooking. So I'll just use the brush and make sure to grease all the walls of the bread pan. We are getting very close to the final step. We can see that the rising has been successful and the dough has increased in volume very much. The next step is to split the dough in three equal parts. We'll color the first part in green, the second one we just leave it white and then the third one in orange. After that we will shape the bread. So let's see. So it's time now to finalize the shape of the bread. And then we'll put it in the tray, the tray that was previously greased. And now the next step is to put it in the oven at 280 degrees for around 45 minutes. I just removed the bread from the oven. I will let it cool down for a few minutes and then I will slice it to see the results. In the end, I would like to thank everyone for watching and I want to wish you good luck with the Irish flag bread experiment at home. Best wishes. Bye.